What's going on guys? My name is John Elder from Konami.com and in this video, we're going to download and install the Git Bash terminal for Windows. All right, guys, in the last video, we downloaded Python. In this video, I want to download a terminal that we can use. Like I said, Windows comes with a couple of them, but they're not very good for our purposes. So I've got a free one that you can download and use. It works fantastically well. And it's the one that I use every day in my coding life. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one time P of just $27, which is insanely cheap. So like I said, we're going to download this terminal and it's very small, very lightweight, does a great job. And the cool thing about this is it allows us to run Git version control on Windows. Now version control, I'm sure you're aware of if you've coded anything in the past, it allows us to save our code in versions as we go along. So if we mess up something in the future, we can just roll it back to a previous version and it works fine. Especially good if you're working with teams of several people and you're each working on bits of code, it merges them all together, keeps track of who did what and when, and it's just, it's the industry standard for all coding always. So head over to git-scm.com or you can just Google git bash, I think. It's a bash terminal if you're familiar with Unix, Linux, bash stuff. So head down here, you can see the latest source release is 2.20.1. Like everything, if this version number has changed by the time you watch this video, doesn't matter, just download the latest version, you'll be fine. So if you're on a Linux or a Mac, you absolutely do not need this. In fact, you should not download this. I'm not even sure if it's available for Mac. Uh, Macs and also Linux computers come with a terminal already. Just go to the top of your screen where the little search thing is and search for terminal and it'll pop right up and you can use that. This is sort of like a version of that. So if you have that, you're good to go. Us on Windows, we need to, uh, you know, download this thing. So click the download button and it should go to a page where it automatically downloads. I'm gonna hit okay to save this on my desktop. You could save it anywhere, it doesn't matter at all. And it is 43.5 megabytes, which is a little bit bigger than the last time I downloaded it. <laughs> and it downloads slow, I find. Every time I've downloaded this, it takes a long time. And in fact, this time we're only at 25 megabytes and it's already been 30 seconds. This should have downloaded instantly on my internet connection but it always does this for some reason. So take a minute just to let it download. Okay, so go ahead and click it or go to your desktop and double click it, run the file. And pull this over. So click next, click next. Now here's a weird thing. It asks what text editor you're gonna be using. And in fact, right when we finish this, I'm gonna download the text editor that I'm gonna be using for this course. I use the Sublime Text Editor, uh, Notepad++ is nice, Visual Code is nice, whatever you wanna use, you can. I suggest you use Sublime just so you can follow along easily with what I'm doing, but it really doesn't matter. But the weird thing is here, it's asking which text editor you, you wanna use. And that's weird because we don't use this in a text editor in any way, shape or form, and you never will. So I'm not really sure what this thing is, so you could just kind of ignore it. Or if you find the one you're using, the text editor, select it, <laughs> but it really doesn't serve any purpose that I can tell. So go ahead and click next. And here's the big thing you want. There's a couple of options. Usually this one is by default, but for some reason, this one is this time. This is the one we want. We wanna use Git and optional Unix tools from the command prompt. Again, this doesn't really matter because we're, we're gonna mainly use this from the Git and the bash terminal. So um, maybe you click this one not hugely important. Go ahead and click next. Again, make sure open SSH is clicked because we are gonna generate an SSH key so that we can connect to GitHub. You need that key in order to connect to the, to the website. Let's see, same thing with the open SSL library, make sure that's checked. Um, these doesn't really matter which one, so just go ahead and click next for that. Use min TTY, again, doesn't matter, click next. And all of these can be left as the, the default. There's a lot of stuff you can do. 
Um, now I've already installed this in the past, so it's seeing this here. You probably won't see this screen. Instead, it'll just ask you to install. Go ahead and click yes and do that. Now I've already installed it, like I said, so I'm gonna click, click cancel. Uh, exit setup, yes. Okay, so let me pull this up. This is the actual git bash terminal. So you can do all of the normal Unix, Linux type commands. Oops, if I could spell ls correctly, clear the screen, do all the things. So this is what we're gonna be using to run our Python. This is also what we're gonna be using to set up Git version control and connect to GitHub and push our code up to GitHub. We'll talk about all that later. For the next minute or so, I wanna spend just a minute talking about the Sublime Text Editor. Like I just said, this is the text editor I'm gonna use throughout this course. It's totally free. It'll give you a little prompt every once in a while asking for a donation. Um, not a horrible thing to do if you are gonna use this for the rest of your life, but you don't have to, you can use it for free forever. And to download this, just download the latest version. It's Sublime Text 3 right now, but again, whatever version it is when you watch this video, just download that version. And you can click download for Windows. You can download this for Mac as well. And uh, just go ahead and save it and then run it. I'm not gonna do it because it's very straightforward. There are no options to select. Just click the defaults a couple of times and then install it and you should be good to go. In order to run this thing, just go to your Windows Start menu and type in Sublime in a little search thing and it'll pop right up. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we're gonna dive right in and actually start programming Python. It's gonna be very cool. And if you like this video, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my number one Amazon bestselling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.